funny story about straw dogs. Um, I had seen about five minutes of the uh, towards the end of the movie uh, on cable one time, and uh, I think I don't know if I'm if I'm remembering the dates right on this. I don't think I had been to film school yet, but I think I was right around the time where I was planning to or something. I was definitely already entering that pretentious film student kind of phase, you know, Mm -hmm. and I don't know what I was doing, but I, I think it was on a vacation or something, probably a wedding or a funeral, something like that. But I found myself in a hotel room with my brother and several of our cousins bored and i had the remote and i saw that straw dogs was starting like in five minutes and i was like guys we got to watch this movie this is this is dustin hoffman and i'm telling you it's great not only is it like a really good movie but at the end he's gonna go all home alone on these guys it's gonna be really great (laughs) and and they're like okay and we sat down and watched the movie and I swear to you, I'm not joking. At the end of this movie, I was like watching him as he's driving that guy home, you know, in his car. And I was like, man, I liked this movie. Like, I didn't say it out loud or anything, but I was like thinking to myself, like, ah, this is a good movie. This is kind of really cool. And the movie ends and my brother and one of my cousins are like, Jason, that movie sucked. They're like, that's one of the <laughs> worst movies we've ever seen. What the hell did you just make a spot? That woman gets raped. Oh, okay, spoilers for <laughs> shot ups. But like I was just like, my God, you guys didn't like that? Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> see, now now you see how I feel now. Yeah, I do, way. I do. <laughs> the, uh, speaking of which, I rated it an eight. So I did rate Straw Dogs higher than uh, than Funny Games. So I'm not completely inconsistent with my. <laughs> how did you um, the remake? Which oh, remake? Oh, Straw Dogs. Oh, I, I I didn't see the remake, so. I, didn't James I, I like I like Marsden, but uh, still, I, like I, I heard I heard bad things, so I didn't see it. Yeah. Uh, isn't yeah. it? Um, it's uh, the the really terribly cast Lois Lane is in that as well. I think no. Uh, Kate Bosworth. Bosworth, yeah. I think, is in it. Yeah. Uh, no? Yeah, yeah, that was her. Yeah. Uh, um, hmm. She's probably yeah. better in that than she is in Superman. I bet. Yeah, I, I I saw it once. I, I, yeah, I, I only saw it once in theaters. I, I think I only saw it because it was directed by Rod Laurie. And oh. it's weird because I keep trying to give Rod Laurie extra chances after The Contender, but he keeps not making good movies. Uh, yeah, so anyway. Uh, and yeah, it's been 20 years since The Contender, so... Uh, yeah, some people just have like a stroke of uh, yeah. creative genius in the beginning, and uh, it's tough to maintain. That's just so so disappointing. Just cast Gary Oldman in your freaking movie, dude. Yeah, yeah maybe. I guess that's what you should do. <laughs> that's that's um, what uh, Joe Wright did when he like made the pan and and was afraid of making a movie again. It's like I know what I'm gonna do. I'll just cast Gary Oldman, and like it'll be amazing because. <laughs> He can't fuck up a movie. Uh, you know what? I'm going to just say this because I just I just wanted when you told me that uh, I did not know that that guy did um, uh, the contender, and so I wanted to like you know look. I just looked right now. Um, right after the contender, he did um, he did the last castle. I really like that movie. I had mixed feelings about it, but I, I, I mean at the same time, I, geez, I was what like 2003. Uh, 2001. Oh, 2001. Oh, yeah. The contender was late 90s, right? Uh, it, it says here 2000. I wouldn't be. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, I, I haven't seen The Last Castle since theaters. So I, I can't no. really talk about that intelligently. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, anything, the only other thing I wanted to say was I just I started thinking about it when Gil was talking about movies that are difficult to watch, but you still respect, you know? Yeah. Um, I think the first thing that jumped into my mind when you said that was how I feel about Eraserhead, because I hate that movie. <laughs> yeah, I, no, mean, it's a I respect movie. the hell out of it. And moreover, as someone who is just terrified about having kids um i completely am in line with the message of that movie like a hundred percent i just 
really dislike it. I don't think I'll ever need to watch it again. Like that movie is difficult. Yeah, no, and uh, I, I rated it a seven. <laughs> I think I have this thing with rating seven movies that are very difficult, but I just appreciate what they're going for. <laughs> it's uh, we need courageous cinema. You know, I probably now more than ever. So, so yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. The first person to bust through the door always gets bloody. So, uh, you know, <laughs> you, you need to be. It, we need those guys to bust through the door. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, so, yeah.